Yo, yo, yo. CPA Strength here, back with another video. This is... Well, this is a dick. This is a a video about addiction. I I'm like really nervous about giving this video. I I didn't relapse. Uh, I had a great day yesterday. I watched one of probably my probably my favorite YouTube channel, After Prison Show. I'm uh I was gonna wear the shirt After Prison Show shirt that I bought. Anyways, he one of uh. Somebody that works with him on his show, on his YouTube channel. He has like 750,000 subscribers. Well, it's a large YouTube channel. Someone that he was in prison with, uh, he gave him a job at his for his YouTube. And God, he looked like he was doing so good. There was a video that he put out yesterday where... The, his friend relapsed and it was an hour and 10 minute video I I watched the whole thing I was like who I was like who relapsed because like I, I'm real I'm realizing now that like I feel you know someone who talks makes YouTube videos all the time you get emotionally invested so I, I realized I was just so emotionally invested who relapsed who relapsed oh no oh no like did Joe who who and uh, and it was his friend that I was working with him. I was like, "Oh, he's doing so good." And I mean, that's a that's a similar story where. Uh, but I I know people. I have people every month that die from drug abuse, and there was um, One in particular, he was doing so good. That's what, you know, I guess you never know what's going on in somebody's head. Because I'm like, he was doing so good. That's what I was thinking about his friend. And, um, let's see. Yeah, the people, really the people I hung around with before, they're either, they're either clean now or dead. Uh, most, most likely. <laughs> I am 40. I started, I, I've been off the drinking and hard drugs for five years now. I started when I was 15 and I went crazy. I have a very addictive personality and I went crazy on them. So yeah, I had a 20 year run of just, the night that uh, Yanni, Joe, Joe does after prison show and his friend Yanni relapsed. Yanni, I, you're probably not going to watch this or anything. I don't know how you would, but dude, I relapsed a thousand times <laughs> for 20. I mean, for like, it was only fun for a few years, like for, for like 15 years, I relapsed all the time. So you, you, you can come back from this. There is anyways, his story of starting, he smelled someone opened a beer that he used to drink. And I was like two eleven steel reserve. It wasn't, it was, for him it was some kind of le like Mike's Lemonade or it wasn't that, but something like that. And I was, well he was like, oh it was a beer that I used to drink. And I was like, 211? Cause like, oh, I can taste that 211 Stew Reserve right now. That was my, st oh I love that stuff. And, you know, from the smell of that to how he, he got, he caught, he copped some, some coke and, uh, did it, did it, you know, went back to his parents' house, planned it out, hid it out. His parents knew he left, he, he got more. He was so, uh, so ashamed and he knew he messed up. And this was like, mm, you know, he started probably like six, well, the story, 6 PM, it's, I've done this hundreds of times, this, this scenario. You do it, you don't, you don't want to face what you've been doing, so you get more, and then you get more, and then you try to get more, and then it's just such a mess. What, what's the point of this? What is the point of this? 
I, I guess what, what keeps me from going and uh, what, what is the point of this is where was the fun? There's no fun in this. Where's the fun? Think about the last time you, you went on a run. Where was the fun in it? You gotta hide it from, you know, if you have to hide it from somebody, what, what fun is that? Like, oh, oh, how oh, do they know? 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 Like, that's not fun. Um, you know, once you become an addict, it's not, it's not going to a party, doing some drugs and like, woo! It's sitting by yourself in a room. Just thinking and just missing your sleep. So where's the fun in that? You know, you spend all this money, your sleep schedule gets all messed up, you're hiding from people, you're probably, you know, you're missing work, you might, you know, I mean, I've had nights, what, you lose the place where I live, lose my job, lose, spend all my money, lose my girlfriend, like, where is the fun in that? There's no fun. So just, next time you think, oh, I'm gonna go on a little run because the stress is too much for me, what helps me? I think about, where's the fun in that? I think of the last 20 runs I went on, last 20 times or whatever, you know, I did Coke or I did meth or I did heroin or I did Xanax bars and drank or whatever. They're not, it's not fun. So just think about what the fun is the other thing is, you know, I understand as being as being a chronically like I don't know. I don't want to be like oh, I was the biggest drug addict ever, but I, I I I took I took kind of pride in being the highest. Like I would do large amounts. Um. So, I know what it is now to, you know, that was, I have the emotional level of a 20 year old now. Because any kind of emotions I would ever have, happy, sad, whatever emotion, I, I'll get high. You know, I was getting high every day for a long, long, long time. So I know what it is to have that, that pressure when you, you, when you used to have, we used to go to that all the time and now you're not, but you still have this pressure and now you have new feelings that you have to deal with that you've never dealt with. And it seems like a nice option to just go on a little run. W what helped me a lot is going to the gym. That was the one thing I, I could relieve stress. I didn't have to think about anything. I would just crush the weights and just just crush the weights and just crush the weights till I had no anger left in me no stress no nothing I would just go home and sleep or something like eat and sleep because I was so I was going to the gym twice a day for a lot and it got it got super hard for me my third year third year it was like super hard I was going to the gym twice a day all the time of course Another thing is, you know, Yanni kept mess, kept, you know, oh, I'm gonna do this. Oh, he, you know, he, uh, he, you know, he ended up, you know, sleeping in a Walmart parking lot in his PJs for for an hour before he dealt with his destruction. And yeah, I've, I've done all of it. It was it, it, it. The story made me sick. Joe, so he went on a run for. I guess a whole, a whole 24 hours. Yeah, a whole 24 hour run. No, uh, like a 36 hour run. That's that's normal. I'll go on a two, three, four day. But Joe said, "Why didn't you call me? Why didn't you call me?" He's like, "I don't know." Yeah, I know. I was kind of rambling. I just couldn't think of what other video to do today because this one hit me. I don't know if I'm really equipped to. I guess as an addict that has quit, I, I, I can tell that I can just say my feelings about it. it. It hit me hard. I think for me, think about think about when's the last time you know you're an addict. Think about when's the last time you had a good time. Think about when's the last time you woke up the next morning and was like, woo, 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 that was awesome. I fucking did a I did a quarter quarter ounce of cocaine, spent two hundred dollars. 
fucking spent this, spent this. I spent four hundred dollars last night and just sat sat in a room by myself. Like, w but when was the last time that you were like, "Ooh, that was awesome"? Probably never. Think about that. Find something that is a stress reliever for you because you're gonna need that. To me, it's the gym. You know, Yanni relapsed. He said he's got to go back to meetings and all that stuff. And I've I've done a couple meetings. I might go in the future because I don't really have a support system. And sometimes I feel like I need it. Um, I know a lot of people that are in AA and A that are doing great. So I think... That's for sure an option for a lot of people. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. I uh, This was kind of a spur of the moment video. And addiction is a bitch. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, I'm not going to, I'm not ever going to relapse. Or I hope I don't. I think one day at a time, right? And, um. For today, I don't believe I'm gonna uh, drink or drug, so I guess it's it's one day at a time. Anyways, I just felt like this video was the video of the day. I don't know how it's gonna go over or or whatever. Or it's kind of all over the place. Anyways, until tomorrow. This is CPA Strength. This is uh, almost five years no drinky. And, man, my heart goes out to you, Yanni. My stomach was turning last night. Your story was my story a hundred times, so. I don't know, yeah. This is the video. Until tomorrow, deuces.